Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I am back in Conan. Um, so, I've done a little bit of work since the last time I was on. I figured I'd show it off a little bit. Um, I have added greatly to the second floor. This is actually going to be my living area. Um, I have to decide what I want to do, though. I'm going to definitely put a slanted roof off to close off whatever I want to be my final finished product. But I'm thinking about making an upper area to have my worship, uh, my Yag uh, little deus to, um, on the roof. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I did uh, get learn those boxes. I have a lovely little bed. Uh, I did drop a table with some fun little stuff over yonder way. Uh, I still have this, but I did wind up getting... Um, a level 1 armorer. Now, out front, there's also been a lot of improvements. Um, as you can see, I put the stands up, I put the buttresses up on the, the flooring to the roof, but I also have a bunch of followers. Now, I do have two followers on the wheel. And this guy is the closest I think to being done. Um, I do have a couple of level 2s, and I th believe I even have a... I thought I had a level 3. I'm not sure. Okay, nope, I just got a bunch of level 2s. Um, now, one of the other things I did, and I would highly suggest that you do this, uh, when you get the ability to, because I can tell you it makes food generation much, much easier is a bunch of these little guys, little fish traps. Now, that's um, an average catch. I definitely just let these guys ride until I need it. Now, the reason that I'm taking in so many thralls is, is because I have a little plan. Um, I realize that I'm playing single player, but I'm testing something out for if and when I ever do decide to go to like a multiplayer-based system. Um... This is about as far out as I'm going to blow the floor of the base. I am going to put some uh, supports up in here, and I'm going to put another layer of wheels. Now, I know that this is the lowest wheel. Um, I'll show you. Okay, so when you type in wheel, oh, when you spell it right, that is, this is what pops up. Now, you can have an iron truncheon or a steel truncheon. So, I am kind of curious as to what the torturer's work table is going to be. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Uh, but, at some point, I will probably um, replace all of these. They do take 100 metal apiece. Now, I have gotten uh, my metal runs down to about 20 minutes getting like starting from right here going on and getting back um because i do have the metal weapons um i did go a little lax in my attributes um i started kind of passing stuff around because i did start using the bow a little bit but i'm going to focus more on this i, I want to get my cum encumbrance up to about here um i know that i originally i said i was going to work on straight encumbrance but I lied, and I started passing points around. I shouldn't have done that, but there's not much I can really do about it now. And I did, at night, this really does kind of look cool. I did put that roof guy in there that takes 20 um, metal bars, iron bars. Um, it really does kind of stand out. It really kind of lights up the place, and it really does look kind of cool. Now, what I was going for here was this was going to be my little assembly line, and I was going to be churning out sl uh, slaves. So, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to lay roof pieces along here, probably two, and then put wall, put one wall down all the way across, and then put something like a window or like an open space kind of wall. The only one that I've been able to find is the window. I don't put archers in front of all the windows with a little doorway probably uh, on this side. Uh... I think that that's going to that will eventually wind up being like my last ditch 
uh, base defense, but it's right now going to be the primary one because what my plans for the future are is you can build into the rock like you saw on the second level. I was actually building into the rock, but what I want is to just go down here, wall a bunch of this stuff in, and just kind of make my base here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I was thinking about putting like little huts, little stuff like that, doing some work. These guys usually flip out when this particular, when one of these guys comes wandering up here. I'm surprised that they're not, but I'll show you what happens in case you haven't seen it because it is kind of funny. Okay, they're apparently not attacking him. That's really weird, because as soon as I attack, most times they flip the hell out. Oh, there they go. A little late to the party, but thanks, guys. That worked out, right? Now, we got a decent amount of hide off of that guy, but they have gone out and chased um, mobs that just walk up that are just walking around that'll just walk up. So it's kind of funny watching them all go crazy because they all start yelling and screaming and blah, 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 blah. So what I, one of the things I wanted to do... Now, this is where I am on the map. Um, this is where my base is. Um, I've gone up as high as here. I haven't really ventured up into the rest of the map. Um, I've just kind of been focusing mainly on I want to get my base built. I want to get stuff going on. Um, I do have the, the expansion, so I definitely do need to go up there. Um, this is always going to be my main base, but I realize that I'm going to have to move up north. I can't keep making that run because I'm always going to run into encumbrance problems, so I, I do have to go up there. I know and I understand that. But I did want to show off this little place that I've been going to and hitting and just what you can get out of this place because it's pretty amazing the stuff that you can get out of this one particular out of one of these little camps now there is another camp the way that i, I make the metal run i've marked it on the map um right here that this camp now this one the dregs it apparently was some kind of sewer system um for whoever used to be around here because there is a um what you call it a a little hologram on one of the rocks if I clear out the camp, I'll show it. But it's definitely kind of cool to see, like, some of the history, like, some of the stuff that's been, that the game is built around. I personally remember reading Conan comic books when I was a kid, and I never really got into the whole Haborian thing. Um, it, it was more just something I read on the side. So it's kind of cool to see some of the stuff that's out here. But I am going to start going out. Um... I've just been having a lot of fun building, just kind of going where I'm comfortable. So, let's get this started here. Alright, I'll take that. Now, sometimes I'll go after hide, sometimes I'll actually go after just the flesh. Um, because of who I've chosen as my deity, um... Obviously, I can eat flesh without a without any kind of a problem. One of my best, uh, one of my most favorite kills is when you uh, when you actually cut them in half. I have had one where I've cut their hands off because their hands were still extended. That was kind of funny. Let's see if we can. There we go. That got everybody upset. Oh, got to retreat a little bit. And three of them down in one shot. Oh, uh, yep. And that's my favorite kill.
Now I am just going after the hide. Um, it's kind of like seeing how what, what I've cut off, what's been. Uh, all right, well that worked out. Um, like I said, you can get hide, but you can also get a pile of human flesh. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a pre kind of a preference thing, I suppose. For some reason, I cut off both of her feet just uh, just below the knee. I don't know why I would have done that, but okay. Okay, so some of the cool stuff in here, and again, this is just if you're like a beginner. Like, I'm sure that the a lot of the experienced people know about this. Um, there are chests next to some of these buildings, and there's some decent stuff in some of these chests. I'm not going to lie. I've gotten a bunch of thick leather. Okay, so like this guy here. Yeah, see, like 12 thick leather. That'll be the third exceptional mace I've gotten. And glass. I have a bunch of glass. <coughs> Excuse me. Now... That guy right there is a dancer, and it removes corruption if you can thrall him and take him home. I've had one grand problem. They have daggers, and their bleed effect is absolutely monstrous. I, it can, I've had it up to 20, and you may as well just wave goodbye to your life. It really sucks. So I haven't been able to grab one, and that's only a level 1. So for purposes today, I'm just going to murder this guy, get a little bit of revenge. I'm hoping that with the next upgraded um, stuff that I'm going to get for uh, taking thralls, that it's going to help with dealing with his, you know, maybe I'll get a little bit more out of a truncheon hit than what I am right now. That's really honestly what I'm hoping for. Come on. There we go. But from some of my research online, it's definitely been... I lost my gloves and my boots. And yeah, I do have uh, heavy. I have a heavy helmet. The rest of it's... Or I have heavy chest and heavy head. The rest of it's medium. Um, from what I've been reading online, they really are just... And talking to other streamers, they really are just a pain in the ass. There's not much you can really do about it. So I'm going to show up there what that's all about. Come on. Unfortunately, I'm out of stam. And I take a hit. And there we go. And we'll take a little bit of that. Got me as I opened up. All right. All right, so not that great, but there is some leather in there. Um, yes, I am over encumbered, so I'm going to clean everything. And I don't understand why that fiber stuff weighs so freaking much. Yeah, I'm collecting the legs and stuff. I'm going to make decorations out of them. Why not? Sounds like fun. Um, but yeah, this stuff is definitely getting dropped. And that's probably not going to bring me a whole lot closer. Excellent. So I'll probably drop the stone. Alright, that's good. Alright, so that should be the whole camp. Now I'm going to show this a little bit. Oh, we got a friend. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's the level 3 archer. Don't have him yet, but I definitely do want to get him. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Alright, well, we'll just take everything. Or not take everything. Whichever. Um... 
Exceptional hunting bow. I've gotten a couple of those out of here. Uh, we can drop the wood, I guess. Um, okay, so we'll take that. Um, I'll take the bone shield just for future uh, helpers and whatnot. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's dark, and I don't have a torch. Shocking, right? Yeah, so... What does it take to make a torch? Because I'm not going to do this. This is retarded. Five coal and some sticks. Alright, let's get some sticks. All right, we got some branches. Let's get this more made. This guy made. And there is a decent amount of coal in here too. It's kind of weird. Um. All right. So there's some light on the subject now. Okay, so I actually did find out this is one of this is a spot. When you're doing the metal run, and the place that I go to, this is actually, uh, I don't know, anybody that's watched, the, watched me make that run, you go, uh, I run off in that direction, this is actually looking down, this is the camp. I didn't realize that at first. Um, so I was kind of kind of cool I found that spot, but this, I kind of got to figure out how to get up there. I'm not real clear how that works. Okay, so I'm sure I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Okay, well, now that I found the steps, because, you know, it's almost daytime again. Cool for me. This is what this place looks like. It's actually kind of cool. Um, this kind of scared me at first, but then I realized, well, they're not going to do anything to me. Well, you showed her. And off they go. So this must open somehow, because it looked like that ghost was walking down. At first I thought you could walk through here, but not so much. So I went over here. So there's that. So, yeah, I don't know, like, exactly what's going on here. Um, I'm sure I'll eventually figure it out. No, it's pretty clear that whatever, the way up there is, like, you're not going to make that jump. And this is a wall, I'm not dying. So, I'm not sure. I... I mean, that thing is really curious, whatever the hell it is. if there's... So I think I did run up this way. I just don't think that there's a way in there. Like... The common sense would say, follow this. Okay, so you follow it. Oh, 
Okay, so you're up here, and you're at a rock shelf. All right, good. Thank you. Please drive through. There's no way up there, and that's not even connected, like, to that. I'm sure I'm going to hit a scorpion, what I tell you. Thank you. And a poison. Awesome. Thank you. Boy, I'm getting my ass kicked by this guy. Alright. So, let's try to stop the health loss. What? No, no, go away. You know what? I could stop being bad, and I could have probably just climbed up there. Because I keep forgetting that you can climb in this game like a madman. So let's see if that actually works. Let's see if we can get up here, get, uh, get some business taken care of. No, I'm dead. Okay, so I could have done this a long time ago, but I didn't, because, uh, you know, I'm... Don't tell anybody. Wow, that's a long way down. Okay, we're out of stam. Just stand still. Stand still. Nothing's, nothing's going on. Okay, now let's see if I can make it up there. Okay, we gotta let our stam regen. We're not gonna do that, so... Okay, so we're back down to the sand. Alright, so... I have to find a spot where I can make it up there. With the stand that I have. Okay. So let's see if this works. All right. Clearly not going to work. See, what I don't want to do is get is catch a game-breaking bug where I get stuck, like I'm about to be. Yep. Like I'm about to be. Okay. I have certainly done it now. Okay, let's go let's go back this way. See about getting back this way here. All right. All right, so it's clear I either have to have a bigger stamp pool Because that's this very deceiving right there. Or... See, work my way over to there. Or... 
Or just build my way over to there. Oh, get away from me. But whatever that is, that's a lot of corruption. I don't know if I should be dealing with right just quite yet. Alright, so that was a fun little adventure. Let's not do that again. Okay? Alright. So, stuff is probably respawned in here. What? Alright, gotta back off, gotta back off, gotta back off. Ha! <laughs> Spun right into it. You feel better about yourself? take the arrows. Oh, I am out of that business of food stuff. All right, so we got to be careful. No, actually, no, we don't. Whoop. Get some lovely berries here. Hi, buddy. Woo! Yeah, we don't play that here, but thanks for playing. I will take your coin, sir. Please drive through. What did we cut off on him? Cut off his arms. Very nice. Alright, there's nobody over here. He probably ran over before. And that's how you do it. I will definitely take those century eggs. What do we cut off on him? We cut off his arm. Arms. Alright, so let's get out of here. We're going to go home, dump our stuff. Fix my uh, feet and my hands. Now, last night I did make a metal run. So there's a bunch of metal cooking in the... In the old blacksmith, so. I am definitely going to start going out to... I want to go to that camp that's up there. See what they've got in there. See if I can bring anybody home. But I know I'm going to have to take a bunch of ropes. I am never sure what that sound is. It's so weird. Every time I run through here, there's two or three times it makes that sound. I don't even know what that sound is. Okay, so let's see how everybody is doing on the, the Wheel of Pain. Okay, he's getting close. He's getting close. Alright, so I just wanted to show off what I've been up to and what my plans are. Um, I'm going to probably end the video here. I'm definitely going to uh, go out. Uh, I'm going to repair up all my weapons and go out um, for some fun times. 
and I'm definitely going it's going to happen the next video that I make of this um, so I want to kind of see what else is going on um, I'm getting that itch to go explore and do fun stuff and things so thanks for watching guys if there's something you like uh, please hit that like and subscribe button it definitely does help me out and I would highly highly appreciate it um, so check back, check some of my other videos in my series, and I will see you guys again later.